next guest is best known as Ricky Jarrett in HBO series Ballers. He is now starring in Spike Lee's latest film, Black Klansman, based on the true story of the first black police officer in Colorado Springs in the early 70s who infiltrated the Ku Klux Klan. I'm not risking my life to prevent some rednecks from lighting a couple sticks on fire. This is the job. What's your problem? That's my problem. For you, it's a crusade. Mm -hmm. For me, it's a job. It's not personal, nor should it be. Why haven't you bought into this? Why should I? Because you're Jewish, brother. The so-called chosen people. You've been passing for a wasp. White Anglo-Saxon Protestant, cherry pie hot dog white boy. Hmm. That's what some light-skinned black folks do. They pass for white. Doesn't that hatred you've been hearing the Klan say, doesn't that piss you off? Of course it does. Then why are you acting like you ain't got skin in the game, brother? Rookie, that's my business. It's our business. Wow. Please welcome John David Washington. Oh, you look cute. Uh, Zara, Zara. No, I don't know. I'm Zara. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I should say, <laughs> sorry, Tip. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> What's up, everybody? What's yeah. up? Oh, my God. I can't even. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah. What's going up? So, your mom has been here before. Yeah. Did yeah. She, she tell you she, about no, it? No, she did not, though. She didn't tell me, but uh, she had. She did a play out here years she ago. She sure did. And, uh, yeah, I'm so proud of her. She's gotten back on that stage. You know, she sacrificed a lot for I us, know. her whole career, for raising her kids. And, uh, she told me. Yeah. yeah she yeah, told yeah. me. I mean, you better give some good Mother's Day I, gifts. I'm Listen, Christmas, all of that, birthdays. I mean, <laughs> it's a part of my motivation, actually, as an artist, to make sure I stay true to myself and, and to the work, you know, because she did. Yeah, yeah. and, of course, his mother is Pauletta Washington, hey. just in case you don't. Yeah. And, but you know when I first heard your name it was because I follow football I follow college football and I, I saw you play right. it's like boy he, he's really good and yeah. then you end up playing in the NFL for a little bit yeah, yeah. so was sports always your first love or where, where was the acting part for uh, you uh, no acting was my first love oh, I, wow. I, my, my father did uh, Shakespeare in the Park when I was five years old uh, Richard the third and um, ever since then that in the movie glory I knew every part I know every all the all the words to every character and that from then on I was like this is what I wanted to do but we heard that you went into football to kind of rebel against the acting. Yeah, exactly. I wanted to carve out my own name. You had this, you know, sense of independence. So um, all that kind of anxiety and resentment I got from people treating me different and, and my father's ascension in the business, yeah. I used, you know, positively uh, on the field. Right. You know, and we got to say, I mean, come on now. His father's Denzel Washington. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But so I was watching. Steve Harvey, and when yeah. Steve was talking to you about that, and I thought this was hilarious, how you talked about you would tell people your father was <laughs> in construction. He did everything. I can't you would never. I edit. shared that. Yeah. I know, but you know what? <laughs> and he was in the clink. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I just, you know, just to throw people off, and you know, they would, they would act differently until they found out. You know. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, I kind of get that. Yeah. I just uh, protect myself, protect my feelings. Because you don't trust, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I did that for y'all. Yeah, I did that for y'all. Well, 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 we're gonna get into the movie. Yeah. I gotta say though, I watch Ballers and you're so believable in that show. How much did the football background help with that role or does it even matter? Um, no, a lot. A lot of the experiences. I mean, it's not based on one person. You know, it's just the experiences um, of all these young athletes that uh, have tremendous amount of pressure on them going into the league once they get paid. You mm -hmm. know, and the responsibility of, uh, you know, just taking care of their families and moving them out of their, their current, their, their old situations. You know, there's a lot of pressure Sunday to Sunday. So uh, I just wanted to inhabit all that stuff that they go through and be able to tell it, give, uh, give the players a platform because a lot of times they don't get to speak out for themselves. Right, mm -hmm. right. Okay, well, we have to talk about why you're here. And yeah. of course, you're in Spike Lee's latest movie produced by Jordan Peele. Yeah, that's right. Y'all watch Spike Lee movies? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah. Movie. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Which one? I was in Chirac. Oh, you was in Chirac. You yeah. saw me. Oh yeah, dude. Quit playing. <laughs> Quit playing. I'm in here. I wanted you to talk about it. I wanted you to talk about it. In fact, she yeah. just, she just texted Spike. I did. Oh, oh, what yeah. did you What did you say? I did. I said, um, John David Washington is coming on the show today, and I said I'm about to interview you, and he said, He is great. With capital <laughs> letters. And let me tell you, for somebody like Spike to say that you are great in capital, uh, he's kind of 
kind of tough. Though. Like he's, he's intimidating. Put yeah, it that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he runs a tight ship, you know, on set. But honestly, it was such a collaborative environment, a familiar environment. Everybody wanted to be there. It, it didn't feel like a, just a job. You know what I mean? Everybody mm -hmm. wanted to achieve the goal of telling the truth of this story. And um, you know, I, I, I was just honored to be a part of it. You know, we we, we rehearsed at the, his headquarters at Forty Acres in Brooklyn. Yeah. And uh, it felt like it was like a Hall of Fame sort oh, of sure. shrine. Like. Tell people you know, what the movie is about, because this is based on a true story from the '70s. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, it follows a man, Ron Stallworth, who was a detective, the first African American detective in Colorado Springs, and uh, he takes on a case infiltrating. I say hate, the Ku Klux Klan specifically, but infiltrating hate. And uh, he, he did it through a phone call, and then he got uh, a partner of his to play him, to be him, uh, when they would meet, you know, the Klansmen face to face. Right. I mean, if you hear that story, you think there's no way this could have really happened. Right. But not only did it really happen, but you got to meet the actual character that you're playing. Ron Starworth is alive and well. He was uh, very generous with his time and information. Uh, the first table read, he, I can't believe this, he passed out the Ku Klux Klan card. No way. That he acquired. Yeah, he, he's, he is a member. He's a wow. member? Yeah, since 70-something, uh, 70, something, 70, I want to say four or something like wow, that. Wow, did yeah. he talk about his interactions with David Duke? Uh, yes, he did. Yeah, he did in great detail. And I can't give it away. I got to go see it. Oh, yeah. nice yeah. team. Nice to see. <laughs> was, was there a takeaway for you meeting with him and seeing what he actually lived through that, that really stood out, something that you will never forget? I mean, holding that card, for one thing. And um, really, you know, it, it was a, the toughest day on set was there's a banquet scene and uh, with a lot of, you know, clans members. And uh, th that was the toughest, hardest day for me. And I called him right afterwards because, I mean, his life was in danger and the law was on his side that day. Right. And I love how he believes that you can be for the law, you can be practicing the law and, and still be aware of the, you know, your culture and be for your people. You right, know, and don't I you think it's really it. interesting how this movie is coming out at a day and time where that was the 70s, but a lot of the tones right. that were displayed right, right, right. in that movie no, so are like current yeah, right now. Yeah, it's a period piece, but it has a very contemporary rhythm and feel to it. Yeah. Yeah. And hopefully after watching this, it could spark the conversation, the discussion, the dialogue. I mean, there's a lot of you know, foul language in this film, but it's on purpose. It's, the, it's, it's words of hate you know, and how to infiltrate that. Mm -hmm. John David, thank you so much. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Black Klansman opens on August 10th.